Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the W Vibes and in this video lecture uh, I'm going to solve a drill problem where three infinite uniform sheets of the charges are located in the free space just like depicted in this diagram and you can see here they are actually lying in the xy plane and along the z axis one of the sheet of the charges which is actually positively charged and its surface charge density is equal to 3 nano coulombs per meter square since the surface charge density is positive which means the sheet is positively charged and we know that when we draw the electric field lines for this surface for the positively charged sheet of a charge then they actually direct away from this sheet why because they are drawn with respect to the s charge which is actually positive so there will be repulsion between the positive and the positive charge and the positively charged sheet all right similarly the second sheet of charge let's call it ps1 this is ps2 and it is ps3 the second sheet of charge is also positive since its magnitude or the surface charge density is 6 nano coulombs per meter square and again its electric field lines will move away or point away from it fine the third sheet of the charge is actually having the negative surface charge density and its magnitude is equal to minus 8 nano coulombs per meter square and now since it's negative that's why it means it's negatively charged and its electric field lines will point inward indicating that if there is a test charge which is positive it will find the force of attraction towards it or it will be attracted towards it okay graphically if you look at this diagram you can clearly see that the electric field lines are pointing in the same direction so in between z is equal to 4 to z is equal to 1 the electric field will actually sum up or the electric field will be equal to the summation of the electric field which is called caused by the rho s2 and rho s3 similarly if you look at the region in between these two plates since the electric field lines are pointing opposite or in the opposite direction so that's why the combined effect should be equal to zero but it depends on the strength of the electric field or the magnitude of the electric field since the surface charge density is not same so there must be certain kind amount of the field will be residing because of the presence of this sheet as well as the summation or the combined effect of these two sheets all right so let's start determining the electric field intensity at the different points starting with the point p a whose coordinates are 2 comma 5 comma minus 5 so we are interested in determining the value of electric field intensity at this point or along the z axis where the value of z is minus 5 all right we know that the electric field intensity because of a sheet of a charge is given as rho s over 2 epsilon and here we have to write down a normal vector which will be normal to the plane indicating the direction of the electric field intensity okay since z is equal to minus 5 which means we are interested in determining the value of electric field intensity below all these sheets okay so starting from here because of the first sheet whose surface charge density is rho s1 i will call it e rho s1 is equal to what the magnitude first we have to write down the magnitude the magnitude of this surface charge density of this sheet is equal to 3 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon and then i have to write down the direction or the normal vector since we are considering the effect below the sheet or along the negative z axis that's why its normal vector will point 
in the negative AZ direction. And hence you can say that it's equal to minus 3 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon AZ hat. Okay. Similarly, E rho S2 will be equal to what? Now we are interested in determining the value of the electric field intensity because of the presence of this second sheet of charge. And again, since the point of observation is lying below the sheet or along the negative z-axis, so I can directly write it as 6 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon, which is actually the formula for determining the electric field intensity of a sheet of a charge. And again, it's pointing along the negative z-axis. That's why it's equal to minus 6 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon az hat okay now let's evaluate e rho s3 or electric field intensity because of the third sheet of a charge and again my point of observation is below the sheet fine so first we will write the magnitude of rho s over 2 epsilon since rho s is negative in this case so we will write minus 8 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon and the negative z axis is involved so this minus minus will become plus and we will just have 6 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon az hat fine and the overall electric electric field will be equal to the summation of the effect of the electric field intensity of each sheet of charge So let's just simplify it minus 3 minus 6 becomes minus 9 nano coulombs per meter square and then plus 8. So minus 9 plus 8 becomes minus 1 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon and along the z axis az hat. If you will simplify this expression it comes out to be minus 56.5. 5 az hat okay so this was the first point of observation that we considered now uh, consider our second point of observation or p b is equal to 4 comma 2 comma minus 3 okay so it means we are considering or talking about this point where z is equal to minus 3 since the coordinate of the z is equal to minus 3 in this case fine and let's do the same procedure first of all we will evaluate the electric field intensity because of the first sheet of a charge which is equal to rho s over 2 epsilon in the direction normal to the plane okay so e rho s1 now if you look this point of observation is lying above the first sheet of charge or it means it is pointing along the positive z-axis now why because it's above the sheet which is actually positive direction of z-axis rho s is equal to 3 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon and then we will just write the direction as az hat similarly e rho s2 will be equal to what now this point of observation z is equal to minus 3 is actually below this sheet of the charge so first we will write down the magnitude which is equal to 6 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon and then we have to write the unit vector since it's below the sheet which is pointing towards the negative z axis that's why i will write it as minus az hat and hence its its magnitude is equal to minus 6 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon az hat similarly e rho s3 is equal to again the point of observation is below the sheet so first we write the magnitude which is negative minus 8 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon and then 
the direction is also negative AZ hat. That's why when you simplify it, it becomes 8 nanocoulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon AZ hat. Now the final expression for the electric field intensity will be equal to the summation of the magnitude caused by each field individually. So E total will be equal to E rho S1 plus E rho S2 plus E rho S3 which is equal to the first one was positive 3 the second one was minus 6 so plus 3 and minus 6 gives minus 3 and then minus 3 plus 8 gives us 5 nanocoulombs per meter square so you will have the value which is equal to 5 nanocoulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon and in the direction of az hat fine once you when once you solve this expression you get it its answer is equal to 282.35 282.35 and along the az axis Okay, now the last point of observation or the P, C is minus 1, minus 5 and then my, uh, sorry, 2. Okay, so the Z axis in this point is 2, which means we are interested in determining the value of electric field intensity over here now. Okay, so let's just write down the expression of the electric field intensity caused by the each sheet individually uh, e rho s1 is since the point of observation is above the sheet or along the positive z axis that's why it will be equal to 3 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon and a z hat similarly e rho s2 is equal to this point of observation is also above the second sheet that's why it will be also along the positive z axis and it's equal to 6 nano coulomb per meter square divided by 2 epsilon az hat now now let's see for uh, the third sheet since the point of observation is still below the this third sheet so its magnitude magnitude is already negative which is minus 8 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon and its direction is towards the negative az axis because it's below the sheet pointing downward that's why a negative sign will come and you will see it's equal to 8 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon az hat and finally total e will be equal to the summation of the electric field intensity caused by each sheet So all quantities are positive in this case as you can see over here so, here, so 6 plus 3 9 and 9 plus 8 is equal to 17 nano coulombs per meter square divided by 2 epsilon is the answer and once you will solve it you will see it's equal to 961 az hat. I am leaving the last part and I expect you can solve the remaining part easily if you have gotten the idea of this thing clearly. Thank you for watching.